Reading Pioneers is proud to present what it's like to be astronaut, created by Chrysanta Murray. Three, two, one, zero, ignition, and we have liftoff. Teddy and Amari watch the Apollo rocket launch on television. It gets them excited about what it is like to be an astronaut and inspires them to build their rocket ship. I want to go to space too! Wow, that looks awesome! We should think of a name for our spaceship. After watching the television, Teddy gathers the tape, cardboards, crayons, and pens. Meanwhile, Amari plans and draws the rocket ship. The two work together as a team. That's right. It definitely needs a name. Teddy and Amari's grandpa surprise them the next day with a gift. They open the box and see their first astronaut suits. I heard that there are two astronauts to be living in this house. That is us, Grandpa. Thank you, Grandpa. You are the best. Teddy and Amari head back to their room to complete the rocket ship. Now that they are wearing their spacesuits, they are ready for takeoff. They share their dreams and what they would do if they were in space. What would you do if you were a real astronaut? If I were a real astronaut, I would travel to space and document everything I see. That is awesome. If I were an astronaut, I would go for a spacewalk to fix satellites. Teddy and Amari spent most of their time building the rocket ship. The brother and sister are making crafts when suddenly noises with lights come from the gift box. The box is glowing. Let's take a look. Do you see what I am seeing? While wearing the helmets, their imagination Curiosity and creativity take them to the world of astronauts. This ordinary box becomes a portal to a wonder-filled world of space explorers. Are we going to train like real astronauts? This is awesome, Teddy! Welcome, Teddy and Amari. My name is Catherine. And I am an astronaut. You are here for a special mission. You will be joining me and my team in outer space. There are two types of astronauts, pilots and mission specialists. They perform different and important roles in their mission to space. Teddy is being trained as a pilot astronaut and he has been assigned to fly the rocket ship and to command the missions. Meanwhile, Amari is preparing to be a mission specialist. She will operate the spacecraft, perform a spacewalk outside the International Space Station, and conduct experimental activities. Now, the real work begins. After their training, Catherine assigned Teddy and Amari to join them for their expedition to the moon to fulfill their missions as astronauts. Amari and Teddy arrive at the International Space Station. It is a giant laboratory spacecraft in space made by humans. It is where astronauts live 
and work in space. Teddy and Amari begin to fulfill their mission as astronauts. Their next mission is to explore the moon. They launch the spacecraft directly from the International Space Station to the moon. A spacecraft is a vehicle that travels in outer space. They will set up a new lunar rover, gather rock samples, photograph the surface of the moon, and conduct experiments. Our next stop is the moon! Teddy and Amari arrive safely after successfully completing their flight. They now have to set up the new lunar rover to drive around the moon to gather rock samples for their experiments. After completing the mission, they will be flying back to the space station. All the crew is congratulating Teddy and Amari for their successful teamwork. Catherine invites Teddy and Amari to join them for their future mission to Mars. It would be a great adventure for all of us to explore another planet. Teddy and Amari safely return home and are ready to share their experience and findings with the world. During their mission, Teddy and Amari accomplished a few tasks fixing the satellite, carrying out scientific experiments, bringing back new rock samples, and deploying the new lunar rover that will continue exploring the moon for many years to come. Amari and Teddy are celebrating their success as a team. After removing their helmets, they find themselves back home. The next day, they invite their grandpa to see the spaceship. Teddy and Amari named their first rocket ship, built together, Super Astra. We did it, Amari! Teddy and Amari demonstrated through their discipline and determined efforts that being an astronaut can be an incredible, enjoyable experience. And always remember that you become what you believe. Thank you, Pioneers, for reading with us today to the book, What It's Like to Be Astronaut by Chris Antamare. To celebrate the anniversary of landing on the moon back in 1969, I decided to read this inspiring and hopefully educational book for you. I love the message for kids to feel that they can become what they believe and appreciate the work that Crisanta Mare put into making this exciting story. If you also enjoyed the book, you can show your support by visiting amariacademy.com to learn more about Mare's published children's book series that are dedicated to building valuable life skills for children. She can also be found on Instagram and Facebook with the same name, at Amari Academy. I've had the pleasure of reading Mare's other book, Becoming Positive, so I know this author and support the work she's doing to educate our youth. Links to all of these and her Amazon page are in the description box below for you to check out. I'm so thankful that Mare contacted me to read this book about becoming an astronaut. If you have a book, you like to be read on this channel, please send me an email, contact at readingpioneers.com, so we can turn it into the next video. It would also be helpful if you like the video, share it with your friends and family, and subscribe to stay tuned with future read-alouds coming soon. Unfortunately, this is it for today. Remember to visit amariacademy.com for more content and updates on Mare's future books, and for more read-alouds that promote educational, and social intelligence for kids, be sure to be subscribed to this channel, Reading Pioneers Academy. Thanks again, readers, for joining us today. And until next time, I hope you all have an amazing day. Bye-bye!